Florence Darby from RejoicingForYou.com. Thanks for stopping by today. Well, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so we can craft together in the future. I actually created a card today, and let me show you my first one. The first one I made was this one, Comfort and Healing to You with Warmth and Caring from Me. And it has a little pocket for a tea bag in the front of the card, and it opens up to a, just a regular card. Now, it works really well, and if you want to make a special envelope for this one, you can actually make one that's slightly bigger than an A2 size. I actually made the pocket a quarter of an inch, and it's a little bit too big to fit into a regular size A2 envelope, but certainly perfectly uh, wonderful for hand gifting to someone. Now, my second iteration of this card was this one, and I cut the pocket down to an eighth of an inch, and that works better, actually. The eighth of an inch works better for this one, but I left this at five and a half inches, and it will fit into an A2 size envelope, but very snugly. So you can fit it in there, and it'll fit snugly. And of course, this one, I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Be calm and leave it to God. And we certainly could mail those or hand them to our friends who may not be feeling too well. My final one, and the one we're doing today, is this one. Now I cut this down by an eighth of an inch, so it's actually five and three eighths of an inch long by four and a quarter of an inch wide, but it, it fits very well into an A2 size envelope. And if you don't put too much stuff on it, you can actually get away with the regular uh, first class postage stamp in the United States. Um, if you put too much embellishments on it, if they think it's too thick, if it is thicker than the quarter of an inch that they allow, then you might need to pop an extra stamp on there too. But it actually is a very wonderful and encouraging card. You know, it can fit the little uh, tea bag right in the front pocket. It says, thinking of you with loving thoughts and prayers. And on the inside, it says, we're all in this together. And I actually printed this wonderful little message at home on my computer on a piece of white cardstock. And I got it from katherinepooler.com. And as a wonderful gift to all of us, she actually has this um, download available for free. So if you want to go to katherinepooler.com, you can actually add this to your cart. It's zero dollars. Uh, so you can just check out without paying because, you know, obviously there's no cost to it. And it'll you'll be sent to your email address first, a confirmation of the order. And then secondly, a link to go ahead and download this one too. And it's a lot of fun. It says we're all in this together. And you know what? We are. And we can help each other through this. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. And it actually comes this way with four of them on an eight and a half by 11 inch card. Um, so if you wanna go over there, katherinepooler.com, you can actually print this down and it's a really fun font. Um, now, if you're going to buy something, I would really appreciate if you use a link down there below and that's my personal link and you get 10% off and I get a few credits in the store so I can add them all up and eventually buy something. And I would very much appreciate that. Um, so I'll leave the links below for both of those. And let me tell you what we need for our card. And as I said, this is the one we're making today. So let me take these out for the moment. Because I had that little pocket in there, you'll need a piece of cardstock that is 12 inches long. And I cut this right off of a 12 inch piece of cardstock by four and a quarter. The mat that we're using is one eighth of an inch less than our finished card. So it's actually five and a quarter inches by four and one eighth of an inch. And that's the mat that we're going to use. And then whatever you want to embellish it with. All right, so with the 12 inch side up, we're going to score this one at five and three eighths. Because remember, we're a little bit shorter than a normal card. 10 and three quarters. And 10 and seven eighths, which is just the next one eighth mark after that. All right, so it's gonna fold like this, and then we're gonna fold the front. First one like that, and the second one, just pop that down, and that's gonna be our little pocket area. Okay, so we have something that looks like this, and that'll be our pocket. Now, these little corners right here, you can just angle those off. I'm just gonna round them. All right, the next thing we need to do is to prepare our mat. All right, so I'm going to do a white. I'm going to show you what I did on a white mat, um, so you can see this. Now I used a punch that had a flat side on top and bottom because you have to slide it back and forth to fit the tea bag, and you can use anything that has like a flat surface on it, but you don't need a punch. Um, so I'm going to use the punch on my regular mat, but I'll show you how to do it if you don't have a punch. All right, just go ahead and line that up, and probably about two inches off the bottom. 
I'm going to make a line from side to side, and you can do this on the back of your mat so you don't have to um, see it. Go ahead and make that from side to side. Then take your tea bag and put it down to the bottom because that's where it's going to be. Center it in the middle, just so you know where you need your opening to from one side to the other. All right, now what I am going to use, you could just trace this and cut it. Or what I'm going to use is actually a circle hole punch, if I can find it. Okay, so I'm going to use my three-quarter inch, because that's the one I found. And I'm actually going to put that in, and I'm going to punch it so that line is exactly halfway, and that mark, I'm just outside that mark. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just outside the mark, and that line is halfway top to bottom. Okay, then I'm just going to take my uh, mark, my pen and or pencil and my mark and just go ahead and go from side to side from one from the top of the circle and from the bottom of the circle and I'm just going to cut that open okay so I just cut a nice little slit for myself and that's where the pocket's going to fit that's where the tea bag will fit in so let me show you how I did it with the punch all right, so here's my piece of pattern paper. And I'm just going to take a punch that, as I said, has a flat side, because I have to move it side to side. So I'm gonna put it on one side and just punch. Okay, so I know that's over there and it may not be quite where I want it to yet. Let me put my tea bag there. You see I'm covering that over a little bit, but I can see right where that point is and I'll make my tea bag right, I'll make a mark right there on that side. And then right over here on this side. And then I'm going to take the punch again and I'm going to slide it one way, making sure that my horizontal top and bottom are lined up. And then the other way. And I'm, and I'm going to punch just outside those marks so I know it's big enough for my tea bag. And you can always just check it to make sure. And there it fits in there nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of strips of a heavy duty uh, glue uh, tape on the bottom, or you can use liquid glue. You just have to wait till it dries. And on the top, I'm just going to use my um, Tombow Extreme. I'm just going to hit a few of them, maybe about halfway down. So I'll put a few strips to about maybe halfway down. All right, so. All right, let me go ahead and put the top on first. And remember, we have a very narrow margin on this one because I want it to be very thin. So we'll line that one up and make sure that we're matted all the way within the top and press that down. Then go ahead and take off your tape or if you're using liquid glue. And now you want to put that up there. And remember, this first fold, there's a fold to the back because it is a pocket and a fold to the front. Make sure that we um, line this up just inside that front front fold because that's where the bottom of the card is going to be and go ahead and press that down. All right and there we have our card and our little pocket for our tea bag. And as I said this just makes it under the quarter of an inch if you use a nice flat tea bag so you can actually mail it with one stamp but if it if it's a little bit stiff or if it actually is a little bit wider you might want to throw an extra stamp on there too uh, to get that so let me go ahead and decorate that and I'll be right back all right so here's my finished version thinking of you and I said thinking of you with loving thoughts and prayers and they come from the lily pad lake from Stampin' Up uh, there's the tea bag inside some little ribbon that I went and uh, actually secured it to the back of the front and then tied around the top and then we're all in this together and we will overcome all right, so let me bring them all back in. All right, so here are all of the tea bag cards that I made. And I think it's a fun way to gift a tea bag and encourage someone along the way. Send them a little love and prayers and a cup of tea. Well, I hope you enjoy this project and give it a try. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to be notified of new videos as I upload them. For more information on this project and others, please visit rejoiceandcreate.com. And as always, until we meet again, I am praying for all of you, and I hope your days are blessed. Bye!